folks. Have you had your coffee yet? You haven't? <laughs> Come on over. I'll bring you one on the Intellia class. This is a Seiko machine that we wanted to show you all the features of today and kind of go through it and just, you know, show you what it's all about. Um, yeah, as you can see, stainless steel clad on the front makes it a nice looking machine. The sides are black plastic. Stainless steel cup warmer tray up here. I would say you could probably get four uh, shot glasses on there, it's, so it's not real big. But what it is is, this is big, this holds 10 ounces of uh, medium roast is what we recommend, espresso blend. Not the oily ones, steer clear of those. This is the grinder adjustment right here, and you see this is loose? When this grinds, that jiggles to aid in the beans going down. It's not broken, it's supposed to be that way. Here's the bypass toaster, one scoop of pre-ground, not flavored coffees. We don't recommend flavored in the whole bean or in the uh, bypass toaster. The sugars in those clog up the brew unit grinder, so it's not good. The lid on this has a rubber gasket all around, which seals it quite nicely. Goes down nice. Some of the features on this machine, um, like I said, bypass toaster, which is listed here. You can also change, that takes it to bypass. That means that it's gonna not, not grind. It's gonna brew from the pre-ground that you put in there. Then you can go up to one bean, two bean, or three bean. And what that is doing is increasing the grams of coffee that are uh, ground down to the brewery unit to be brewed through. So it's gonna make your cup a little bit stronger. Over here you have two programmable uh, buttons for your coffee. You can program these up to, um, I think maximum is about eight ounces because you don't want to go above that. The boiler would not be able to keep up as far as uh, making a nice hot cup of coffee. Down here, you get to choose between steam and hot water. And this is the Cappuccino Tori. And what this does is it sucks up milk out of a container that you provide, get the hose, sucks it up, foams it, puts it down into your cup over here and then you move the cup over and brew your coffee. So this is not one step, it's a two step process. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Water tank right down here, which is 50 ounces. Pretty good size for a machine this size. Spouts that go up and down for short or taller cups. The dregs box right here. And since I took the dregs box out, you can see the digital readout up here tells me something's missing, and it's this symbol is for the dregs box. If I put the dregs box back in, now you can see this door is open. Over here, while I got the door open, this is the, here's the brew unit right here. You wanna take this out once a week or so and rinse it with hot water really well. It gets rid of all the coffee stuff, wipe in here. Keep that nice and clean. See, shows it's out. That's the shape of this brew unit. Now it's ready to brew. So that's the main features of this machine. Um, the other thing that we'll do, and I'm going to show you that after uh, I make my hot milk, foamed milk, if I push either one of these buttons in rapid succession, it will grind and brew twice for you without you asking it to do it. It'll do it automatically. And this is programmed for a short shot, and we all know that I like more coffee in my milk than most people, so I'm going to show you how that works. But first, let's do the steam. Up here, you get to choose whether you're going to want hot water to come out or do you want steam? I want steam. The boiler is heating up so that it gets to the right temperature for doing steam, which is hotter. If I had a tall cup there, it would be you know plenty height. You can hold this up or you can just leave it like that. So now I'm going to stop that because that's the amount I want. And you can't program the milk. You do have to start it and then stop it. Now I'm going to show you that rapid succession thing. And you'll see two cups are going to come up. That, instead of one cup on the, on the uh, readout, there's two.
So for programmability and the auto milk function on this machine, uh, you can look up the price on our webpage, but it's affordable for what you're getting. Uh, you're getting more features on this Seiko than you would on some machines uh, for less price than some of the others that cost more and you get less. So now it's ground once, grinding twice. Look at the jiggle. That's that jiggle I was talking about. The first time I saw one of these machines a few years back when they came out, I went and got a screwdriver to tighten that down because I figured it had an issue. Mm-mm. It's supposed to do 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 go. Latte art on a super automatic. Cyclops with a frowny frowny face. I don't know about that. Let's try it. See what it's like. Mm. It's hot. Nice strong coffee. The foam is pretty decent. There you go. That's a super automatic and it's going to do the work for you and not break the bank. And Seikos are um, well built. Uh, they can be serviced at uh, many different service centers across the country that Seiko has certified centers. Make sure that if you have a warranty issue and the, under their warranty, call them and they'll line you up with tech help and they'll also set you up if it needs to come in for warranty, um, where to set it and where to send it in and it won't be so far away from you, hopefully. And we work on them here too, on, after warranty and before warranty, but first warranty, talk to Seiko. So check out the stats on this, the rest of the stats that I didn't mention, there's all kinds of dimensions and stuff on our webpage and uh, you know, below in the comments on the video. Tell us what you think. We always like your feedback. Thanks for watching.